Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation, brother, doing the work of sincerity and truth. Though for elect, brothers waiting every day, praying for Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh return so we can get out of this place. Peace and salutation to you, brothers. Man. Uh, brothers, I want to get into a lesson, you know, this basically, um, basically getting to the scriptures about, you know, just basically the mercies of the Lord and how basically he's basically choosing Israel. No matter what, you know, and that's the mercy, you know, his promises, man. So, well, I mean, let's let's get into it, bro. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Um, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen and verse one, and it reads, "For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the stranger shall be joined." Onto, so I can join with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right. The, the Israel, Israel is going to be, um, uh, he said he's going to choose Israel. Israel the whole, Israel is going to be back in their own land uh, for, for, the, for, the, for all that, you know, all the suffering we did and go through. If you know anything about the Bible, you know, you guys see just watching, starting to watch. Uh, the the um, video, the Great Millstone video, but just basically the truth, man. You'll find out that Most High is only going to choose Israel, and He's not choosing the whole world. You know, and He's having mercy on His people. You know, it's constantly written in the scriptures, but you will get a lot of people that's uh saying the script, saying it's only the uh, it's for the true believers, and the that's for the believers, and the believers can be anybody. You know, so the only the deliverance gonna come from Israelites. All right, you got something else? Oh, kind. This is the book of um, the book of Hosea, chapter one, in verse ten. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And that shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power of Yahweh. Right, so what was they said? What was it said that we were not his people? The whole world, earth, you know, the whole earth said that, you know, especially the main captivity, which is in uh, America, but the rest of the nations have something to do. Majority of it, man. I mean, because hey, Esau is, is top notch on the wickedness, but shit, the rest of the nations, you know, they ain't coming up. Hey, look, man, y'all are Israelites, man. Get this, get this shit over with. So you know, y'all all partakers of this wickedness of this devil, man. Well, it's gonna be soon shown that you know the uh, in front of our enemy's face, man, it's, that the deliverance is gonna come to Zion, man, and you know Israel is gonna have a it's gonna have a a, a a great deliverance, man. You know, go to okay. Isaiah um, eleven sixteen real quick. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter eleven. Bear with me, I can in verse sixteen. Uh -huh. Okay, Kai, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 16. And there shall be an highway for the remnant of his people, mm -hmm. which shall be left from Assyria, like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. All right, see, well, well, how did they come out of uh, Egypt? How did they come out of Egypt? They went through the, uh, the, the Red, Red, Red Sea. So that was deliverance. But he Kai. said there's going to be a highway. And how that's going to be? Out of the atmosphere. We're gonna we're we're gonna be able the highway is gonna be when those when that destruction is coming before it comes the nuclear missiles hit it's gonna be a um it's gonna be uh we're gonna be beamed up into the chariots and shot out you know so that's just basically the same same it's a it's a it's one of the greatest deliverances I mean the, the a great deliverance is to see a, a big old body of water open up. And then and it dry, get dry, and you can walk through it until you know Egyptians got through, and you, and you and right now you can still find those chariots um, under that water, you know. But that's going to be a great deliverance, and that's mercy. That's a mercy kind. <laughs> that's mercy, man. And to 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 get you out of that indignation, so you can get out of get out of dodge. Because what the earth is going, America is going to be destroyed in other parts of the uh, earth. 
So that uh, angels gonna swoop and swoop the brothers up and get them out of, into the atmosphere, man. You know. Say to the indignation come. Uh, oh shit! Go ahead. Go ahead. If, if, I, if I can add the the another key word in this scripture that the brother just had me grab is it says a remnant. Yep. It says there shall be a highway for the remnant oh, yeah, of his point, people. Point, kind that that remnant that's that small number. That's the elect. All right. You know, and Lord willing, we're of that elect. We uh, say we're the hopeful elect. Like, but that who whoever they may be, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Shai, is going to deliver those people, that 144,000 and the one-third men, women, and children. All right? And we hope to receive that mercy. He, he got a great deliverance for you, brothers. Yeah. Lord willing, we don't mean kind. That, jet, that jet up out of here, man. Yeah. Ain't yep. going out in style, bro. We show them mercy, man, because you can be baked. <laughs> yeah. this place. You could be eaten <laughs> before yeah. you be yeah. You could be by cannibals. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You could get ate up by cannibals. Shit, anything can happen. You could get fucked over in a FEMA camp. Yep. You know? But a remnant is going to receive mercy. And they're going to receive, and, and, and hopefully we don't admit, man. Kind. You got something else? Uh, kind. Uh, I was just going to grab this real quick. Uh, this is uh, the book of Romans, uh, chapter 11 and verse uh, 7. And it says, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, mm. but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right. Wow. So the even that obtaining that is what is being obtained is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. And that's mercy within itself, man. The Heavenly Father showed mercy to us. Just waking up and be able to understand these scriptures, right. the understanding of them that we receive from our apostles and elders, okay, at Great Muslim. All right, starting with the Apostle Tahar on down. That's mercy right there. Right. You know? Yeah, right. And, you know, and, and brothers, we, you know, and the mercy, it, it, mercy is to know this truth because you got, you got niggas that's, <laughs> that don't have a clue. Uh, of what what it takes and what it what's gonna happen in that time, man. They have no clue what's the um, kind how the martial law is gonna really. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hell. You know, Jacob's trouble is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be uh, animals coming into the city. You know, it's gonna be um, what they call that. Uh, it's gonna be a big old. It's gonna be a lot of new new weapons seen, new animal seen. It's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy, man. Kind of. You know they're gonna release. They're, they're gonna they sharp, their horns are sharpened, man. They're gonna they're gonna do some damage. All right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, kind of, I just wanted to uh, grab this uh, this the uh, definition of mercy from the Merriam-Webster uh, dictionary, and it says kind or forgiving treatment of someone who could be treated harshly. All right. Now, hey. We could be treated, the Heavenly Father could treat the whole nation of Israel harshly if he wanted to, man. For all our wickedness, for all our times we went off uh, serving other powers, all right, other gods. But the Heavenly Father, he's going to show mercy first and foremost because like it says in the book of, um, I think it's Jeremiah chapter 36, for his name's sake is he going to do it, all right? Because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, is not a liar, okay? Um. I got a scripture real quick. Kind. This is um Romans nine, and um, I'm gonna start at eleven. Romans nine and eleven. It says, yeah. "For the children, uh, being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to the of to election, with the brothers speaking on the, you know, the remnant, might stand, not of works, but." Uh, of him that calleth, so who calleth the Most High? So at the, so if you go to Jeremiah the first chapter, it tells you that you was predestined from the beginning, man. You know, through this, so he called you from the beginning. He called these men, and these men both prophets since the beginning, man. You know, and it says it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the youngest. So it was it was already it was said unto her who said unto them, the Most High. And it was told to her. From the Most High, that the elders shall serve the younger. Right? And it says, it is written, Jacob have I loved, and but Esau have I hated. You know? And so, it, it's, it's explaining, man. 
and verse 14, it says, what? Now, this is a question, man. What shall we say then? What shall we say? Why? Because the Most High chose Esau. I mean, chose to lock it. That's chose, yeah. did not choose Esau. <laughs> right. To lock it, slip of the tongue, man. Kind of. Not in his heart. We, he said, because the Most High did not choose Esau. You know, what can we, what, what you going to say then? What you going to say? What these uh, niggas on the, um, these crackers that's that's coming on comment boards and niggas that's in these other camps and Esau can make it and things like what you gonna say? Right. What can you say? No, you can't say nothing because what the most high it did, it says, let me go back to verse 14, it says, What shall we say then? Is the is there unrighteousness with the most high? What? How you gonna say that? None. They none. It says the most high forbid you. How about you shall forbid? It says, For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, is it not of him that willeth, nor is it uh, is it not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy? So it's, the, it's of the Most High. So you got an issue. You got to take it up with the Most High for having mercy on Israel. Okay. You know, all you guys that's out here that's uh, trying to uh, slide in. Because your mother's a, a <laughs> descendants from Native Americans, and and um, or it, it's not true, you know. Because we don't care about what you think. It's how you gonna say the Most High is unrighteous? That's why they hate the Most High, and they mm -hmm. still hate him. You know, they think they they're they're gonna destroy uh, most of Israel, so they can get their the 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 their their blessing. Uh, think they can get the blessing uh, from uh, Jake. You know, it's not gonna come that way. It was already ordained from the beginning, and we don't care what you what you think. All right, so that's that's um that's you take that up with the Most High. One second, yeah. one second. This says um this is a uh, Romans three and three. It says, "For what if some did not believe? Yeah. You no, know? shall their uh, unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? So so what? You don't believe what we're saying." Uh, we read the scripture. Okay. It's in there. We give you the the, the 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 scripture, the number. Read it. And you break still it down. break it down, and you still don't get a why. Most I didn't give it. He give you the spirit to understand it. He gave certain men that spirit, and you know, you got. I hate. I, I, I hate to keep saying you got camps that add trying to add Esau. Anybody can be saved. Girl. They not just saying five Edomites like GOCC. They just saying Edomites can be saved. That's the spirit, bro. Like, that shit be, been pissing me off for like the last two weeks here on that shit. Uh, could I, uh, I, just to go with uh -huh. what the brother uh, said, uh, no matter what, it's you Edomites, you not part of the blessing, all right? You don't have and no matter what you, Jakes, you, you, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos try to do, this scripture is for you. This is Proverbs chapter 11. In verse 21, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, wow. but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So no matter how you try and twist it, you try and turn it, them Edomites getting punished, man. Yep. And we know what their punishment is. We know what their end result is going to be. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 18 tell you that. You know what I'm saying? These, they, they, so what? It, like, and like you just got I, in Romans chapter 3. So what if you don't believe? Well, that make the Lord said this was going to be the cause, all right? The Lord, Yahweh said this was going to happen. You can't save. All you can do is do talk bullshit and run your mouth, your lies, lip service. Them, you Edomites and you other heathen nations are about to get it, man. Don't get a cold God. dose of hell on your ass, man, because y'all about to try to sneak up on us. You, you try to destroy us? Hell. Y'all still destroying us. And you got guys that come in a, a debate. We don't really, we don't get on and debate no ear mics. We don't do that. You know, mm -hmm. you watch your age like a recommendation pop up, you'll see what the, who's, who's debating. And then these other camps debate like idiots with the devil. Who's going to be the devil? Who's going to tell you and be condescending and tell you that uh, you're not going to. Oh, I don't believe that with, with one bit. You know, guys think they're preachers and pastors, and then you got guys that think they that's no that's 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 Israelites making themselves like a fool. Sit here debating them, man. You contend with the faith. You contend with the faith with brothers that's 
um, that's that need to understand. You, you deal with, you contend with Israelites. We we if we go, we don't even have to really speak to these damn uh, uh, heathen, man. We we speaking to the congregation, man. Kind. What? Go ahead, bro. Um, kind. Uh, I'm also in uh, uh, the book of Romans, chapter uh, nine, but I was gonna jump down to uh, verse twenty seven, and it reads Isaiah. Also crieth concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. All right, a remnant of Israel. It don't say nothing about no Edomites. It don't say nothing about no Moabites. It's, this is only for the nation of Israel, you so-called Latinos and Native Americans. That's who the mercies are going to be given to. Okay. Right. I think that you have Zion of them. Uh, I got one back there. Okay, can you get the yeah, cut, cut. I'll grab it real quick. Right, this group. Yeah, so, you know, the the, the problem of, of, of the world thinking that the Most High is going to have mercy on everybody that that say they, they believe. Let's get, let's get, okay. Either. Okay, got yeah, it. It, it, it says he's going to have mercy on um, everybody. Oh, everybody can make it. You know, John 3, 16. John 3, 16. Yeah, everybody can make it. You no? Know? You got it. Oh, yeah. You want to highlight it, bro. <laughs> yeah, you God, this is the uh, the compact Bible, John Durant Compact Bible Dictionary, and it's page 142. And this is, the, the it says, Edom, okay, figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgments. Ooh, the future judgments. Yep. And it says, yeah, hold oh, on. That, that, is, that is probably one of the most uh, poignant points that these Edomite scholars made. Who They, they say the great future judgment on who? Uh, Edomites. But they don't think they're Edomites either, though. You know? The Romans didn't think they were Edomites either, but they were Edomites. They were Idumians. I'm looking at my Idumians. All right. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a great future judgment on them, man. Kind. All right. So what, 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 that's that's in your Zonovan Bible Dictionary, man. So I noticed um, I tried to get another one. And uh, it was $6 at one time. This shit is seventeen bucks now. Oh, the seventeen it's bucks. Seventeen now? bucks. Where I okay. go for it? It's, it's supposed to be a discount Bible store, but shit, that's seventeen bucks now. You know, and I'm like, wow, it went up because <laughs> it's got point and points. Can we continue to read, bro. Okay. Um, you got? Did you get out the whole thing? Uh, oh no, I know you didn't. No. It says Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of the great future judgment. <laughs> See, notably. Isaiah 34 and 5, which I just yeah, got. Yeah, I got, yeah, got, yeah, got, yeah, got. It gives you a precept right here, yeah. man. It gives you a precept. Hey, hey, look, it said, but well, look, it said, it says, they have, it says, like, throw out, bro. You got it, bro. It says, um, it says, she is the only neighbor. Did you, did we, no, no, we didn't go there yet, did we? Mm -hmm. did, did you read that? Uh, I ain't read it yet. You want me to read oh, it? No, 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 read out, read out, read that, future, great future judgments. Go okay. ahead, bro. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia mm -hmm. and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Right. So they, they, the curse, he they said the sword is what? The Most High is going to send his, his all type of destruction, this, this destructive weaponry upon this, the, the state of Edom. Kind. All, if it's if it's the Leviathan, if it's uh, his nuclear missiles, and which is mainly what he's talking, but he 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 gonna send that upon Edom, man, and the destruction is gonna come on Edom. The important points, man. That was a, that was a beautiful point that even the scholars <laughs> wrote in there, man. Kind. We have more. Uh, kind. It says, uh, and I I do mean it's the Greek way of saying Edom, okay. Right. Right, all right, but uh, and it says the sword of the Lord Yahweh is filled with blood, mm -hmm. it is made fat with fatness, mm -hmm. and the blood of lambs and goats with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord Yahweh hath a sacrifice in Basra 
And Basra is a city that the Edomites used to uh, rule over, okay? Which is synonymous to America. It's, yeah, all that, I, I, Edom, all that is seer, is synonymous with America, okay? And a great slaughter in the land of Idumea, okay? That's right, the great slaughter in the land of Idumea. So right now we're in the land of Idumea. Yep. You know, dealing with them damn devils, they, they, they hightailed it out of Petra, you know? Uh, and you know, it's probably and you know it, it could be still some of them motherfuckers in them caves up there. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah. as fuck, you know what yeah. I mean? We but, don't know, you know, because they took it from the horizon. And, you know, the Arabs go. I believe the Arabs are. I don't know if the Arabs are over there, but it's still. If you go look up cities in Petra, it looks like a house in the city in these cities, man. Yeah. It, they made up the entryways and things of that built with columns and things of that nature, man. Yep. Yeah. Right. Um. Okay. Okay, continue, bro. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. God. Um, it says, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of, here go that word again, <laughs> mercy from the Heavenly Father, <laughs> Yahweh. Point. He, he wasn't given that. We, the, the Israelites are going to receive mercy, and Jake, and, and, and Jake going to have to go on. Go on you know, receive the mercy after the after the destruction. You know, we're going to, they're going to be destroyed too. But, they were, but in the kingdom of heaven is the mercy coming back, you know. Because the Most High kept his promise. He going to keep his promise, man. But that's, man, we going to keep faith, being faithful to you, Abba As long as the Most High uh, uh, deemed us so, you know. And, and it says she is the only one that's going to have no mercy. These goddamn yeah. devils are not going to have mercy. You're going to be, what did the brother say, big rocks and the little rocks? Big rocks and the little rocks. Big yeah. rocks and the little rocks going to be smashing them to dust. You know? Yeah. And that's and that's light work. That's easy work. Just keep on hitting them. Shit, I got it. There's tons of gold in the, in the ocean that I need to go <laughs> yeah. get with one breath. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you better. So you know you ain't getting it. They gonna die. I, Cause like a brother would give a scenario, I'd be like, brother, but they gonna die. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you care? Right. <laughs> they, they gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, that's look, man. We it's it's a lot of atrocities that we don't even realize what happened. And for, first of all, they put food. The food man put stuff in the food. Which which is which is a rotten our internal intestines out. You know, we can't even get hey, everything is messed up, man. And that's the spirit, bro. Because me and the Aki and I'm alive, we was talking about the food earlier. Right. How nothing we eat is real, bro. Nothing, nothing we eat is real. Let's get back to the subject. Uh, okay. Let's get back to this. So we with the eating, but let's go back to the uh, the okay. subject of, uh, you know, get back to uh, the, the mercy of. All right. Uh, go to Numbers, Numbers 23 and 19. Okay, Kyle. Yeah. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 23. 23. All the 23. In verse 19. Mm -hmm. And it reads, yep. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is not a man that he should lie. Nope. He, so, so we believe we believe the, the promises that that uh, the Yahweh uh, uh, well, the scripture was said. And we believe in Yahweh, man. So we believe that every word, last word that's said in this, these scriptures is true. So we believe the Most High is not going to lie to us because we know he is people. We can, we can feel it, man. Right. No, it's a spiritual thing. Go ahead, right. bro. Yeah, so we will be, also, like you just said, bro, we can feel it. If we, we got fear because yeah. we can feel, we know that the, we wouldn't be doing this right now, man, yeah. if we didn't feel it. If we didn't fear the Heavenly Father, you how about shit now, shy, okay? But uh, continuing on with the scripture. Uh, I'm going to start over again at the top. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, is not a man that he should lie. Mm -hmm. Neither the son of a man mm -hmm. that he should repent. Mm -hmm. Have he said, and shall he not do it? No. Nope. Yeah, he, hey, he, hey, he said he's going to flood the earth. Didn't he do it? It's yep. a story by everybody saying he's going to flood the earth. Come, bro. No. Did he, did he say uh, he's going to take out uh, um, uh all these he took out all these nations. It's written in the it's written in regular textbooks that he took out the the Egyptians, you know, the Persians and the Medes, etc. Did he say we we're gonna go into slavery? Yeah. With slave ships? He said it. Back in Egypt again. Back in Egypt again. And we right here. Yeah. You know? Hey, and, and they had they and, and, and out there in Egypt they had evidently they had they they saw the type of freedoms although they were 
you know, vigorously. They had some type, of, but they weren't they weren't able to uh, worship their power, our power, and in, in, in truth and sincerity. You know, in that time, they weren't really because of what they was doing the same shit. You know, the Most High had mercy to even try to take them out. Then he says, man, he, he let their ass die out in the wilderness because they were so goddamn foolish, man. Man, foolish, <laughs> foolish doing man. dumb shit, man. <laughs> He's doing dumb shit, bro. He, he all he with us, bro. Go ahead, bro. Okay, Khan. And shall he not do it, or yeah. have he spoken? We best believe whenever whatever he spoke, he speak. He gonna do it, man. No, we know for a fact that uh, martial law is gonna come. You know why? Even they, even even Mike's writing their book, or you hearing they they saying that it's gonna come, man. Khan. We they get make, it out of the scriptures. They make numerous movies about it. Exactly. And it's in Second Ashes, chapter uh, 15 and chapter 16. Mar martial law is coming. Martial law is coming, man. Jacob's trouble. Kind. Yep. You know? Yeah, kind, bro. Jacob's trouble. That's martial law. Exactly. You know, and it ain't going to be. It's, it, I heard a song. I remember a song. I think about a good mom. Um, it said, I'm going to just put a verse. You know, I, I, it was like, who the, who the looking People in your window pile, nobody now, nobody. You know what I saw? Mm -hmm, kind of. He said, yeah. one of them dudes said, um, they'll say, he said, um, them say, expect no mercy. Fool. It was, it was, it was a nice little quote. He said, don't expect no mercy. Don't expect no mercy. And that day, he said, fool, you should be my least worry. I got to deal with W2. So he said, they got to deal with taxes. And, and, and what, and what he's saying is, it said, and if you keep doing it, it said they got a place called Operation Heartbreak Hotel, Moment Spell to the anti Vince said lost the smell. Just just say expect no mercy, fool, you should be my least worry. Mm -hmm. Gotta deal with W twos. Meaning taxes is fucking you up. You know what I mean? You being you you dealing with because he, he switched it, but they was talking about martial law in that song. You know? So it was a it was a nice quote. And I I always I never forget it, but you don't expect no mercy. Don't expect no mercy because you got a baby in your hand. Yep. Don't expect no mercy from these damn devils. That, that's another video. Let me go ahead, man. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's go to the point. But I like that when they say don't expect no mercy, man. And I was just trying to say the whole line because it's trying to remember the, the verse. Right? Kind of. And, you know, bro, even that that song and that video was dealing with uh, Esau's Illuminati plans. Yeah, Illuminati, Illuminati plans. Who, kind of. Nobody now, you know. So it said, yeah. And it was another verse in there. It said, I it said, man, it said, I wonder if the gate was put up to keep crime out of keep our ass seeing they had to, to get around their community and shit. But it was, you know, so that's even with that wall. Exactly, bro. <laughs> I wonder the gate was to, to keep crime out of keep our ass seeing. So when that they put up, if they put up that wall, it was for your ass to not be able to scale that bitch. Because why would you try to do the whole border? Of the, through the spirit, brothers. And like Brothers was saying last night after camp when we was at the main house, okay. Brothers was talking about the war and they were saying that that war, R -R -R, he said the war was built, it's being going to be built up to keep you Jake's in, not to keep Jake's out. All right. Yep. That, they, that war is so you can't escape because Jacob's trouble is coming to those of you who are not going to receive mercy from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Chanel Shai. All right. What they call it, the Edomites McNiggas. Yep. <laughs> the goddamn McNiggas. McNiggas. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Uh, Khan, uh, or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? Have he spoken, not saying, he, 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 hey, man, we, we, he, most of us, making his, his promises good, man. His promises, and his. And his words say his his words don't go out void. Kind his, of his, the bread, man. Go ahead, get okay, it, kind of. <laughs> it don't go out void, man. You know he he said his mercy upon he said his mercy upon us and what but mercy is learning his scriptures, knowing that you can escape if only Lord willing that you he he he, he provides you to be worthy to you know be saved, man. And that's what we're trying to say. He he had the mercy on Israel, man. Go ahead, bro. Okay, Kyle, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Yep. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So that means... 
the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashin Al Shai, said it's going to be in Jacob's trouble. That word prosper means to go over and beyond what he said it's going to be like. Right. So it's it's going to go, it's probably going to be 10 times more than what we can imagine. Right. All right. Right. We might think, oh, they're just going to come in and have some guns. They might have some guns and people are going to be in, in shackles, maybe in their underwear going, and, man, you got you to gotta add, probably, you got to add some, some more pressure and pain with that. Hey, hey, I, and you know what? I want to, if I can add this real quick, like we know that uh, they ordered like a 30,000 guillotines, all right? Right, right? But what another thing that Jake ain't talking about is all the bayonets they ordered mm, the bayonets, knives to uh, go on mm, those they, assault they rifles, yep. and that's to save bullets. Yep, and they poking your ass. That's a painful that's, death. Yeah, that's I'm fucking jig you with that shit. Man, you better not, hey, you, if you know anything, that's why this, the Lord said, uh, um, give me um, Luke 21. Luke 21? Yeah, okay, 21, kind. 20, something like that. Yeah, 21. 21. Let's read one. 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 Start at 21. No, I go 20. Okay, Kyle. This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 21. Read all we do. And verse 20. Mm -hmm. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, mm -hmm. then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Mm -hmm. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Right, so when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, you're going to see that, you know, that the desolation is not, meaning that, that that's more of Jacob's trouble. And that's that's going back to uh, around 70 AD, but still it's going to add up to the same thing in the time, because Jerusalem is really, is, is the people of Israel, or basically the cities where, is, where Jake is generally at, man. And he said, we could pass with armies. You know, the desolation is not. So you know that this nigga was going to come in with a fucking flood. He going to come in, in in a way you never thought. Helicopters, choppers. He going to come with missiles. He's going to shoot. He going to destroy. He going to pull people out of their houses just to have fun to torture people. To put them in camps. He already got that uh, Rex 84. You know? See, Most High is still going to... And the Most High oh, is still going to have mercy on us, man. And it, it's... it's if God's gonna, you gonna if you even die doing this work, you gonna have he gonna have mercy on you, man. Yep. All right, and then you know doing this work and mercy is being is kid being with Esau take you out. That's a, that's a mercy. That's from the Most High. But when you you they they like to keep you alive to fuck you up. That's torture. So you you a. You better. We we gotta load up and understand that the Most High ain't gonna play, man. Go ahead, bro. What you got? Kind and um, I was just I just wanted to say that you had said that this is referring to uh, seventy to A.D. But Jacob's trouble gonna be worse than that. Worse, bro. They didn't have what they had. Kind. Yeah. It says, uh, then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter there into. All right, you don't come back in. Don't don't get on your top of your house. Get the fuck out of there, man. That's why I say, in, um, what is that? Uh, in a, in a, a, a prophet uh, in Ezra, said, "Man should desire to see you." Kind of going to a city. Go to a city. Yeah. Oh, see to, another man. See like another man. Know. and go to another city. To yeah. See, because they're gonna be. It's gonna be so much. Uh, some people gonna escape, you know, and that's gonna be most likely the, the elect man. Even if you were the camps man, still keep your faith, man. You are gonna see some terror. You, they had those projects like uh, what Katrina happened when they had them all in the Superdome. They did big experiments, man. I was just thinking about that, bro. Kind, like five bro. minutes ago, man. kind, bro, kind. That's a spirit, bro. Yep, spirit. That's spiritual, bro. Go ahead, bro. You got some. Kind of, this is um the book of Zechariah chapter thirteen and verse eight and nine. This is an oldie but goodie, mm -hmm. and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, mm -hmm. but the third shall be left therein. The remnant, bro. Huh? The remnant who's most high having mercy on. Man. Um, 
You got more? Kind verse 9. Mm -hmm. And I will bring the third part through the fire mm -hmm. and will refine them as silver is refined mm -hmm. and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. Mm -hmm. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai is my power. It's my power. Bro. And that's that mercy. They receive mercy. They receive mercy, bro. This is uh, Isaiah 50 and 7. It says, For the Lord uh, Yahweh Shema shall will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Uh, therefore have I set my face like like a flint, which is hard. Mm -hmm. And it said, I know that I shall not be ashamed. So we know all this thing we should, we're going through, man, that we're going to be ashamed. And all the prophecies that the, the brothers have been prophesying and, 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 and the Lord, the reason we're doing it because the spirit is on men. You know, we ain't going to be ashamed or confounded. Okay, so with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekab Adash. Double honors to the Apostle and the others. Peace and salutation to your brother doing his work, sincerity and truth. Peace and Shalom. Shalom.